thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. And uh, Ms. Tannen, again, thank you for taking time to speak with me uh, last week. Um, and uh, we had the opportunity to go over a number of different issues, including a bunch of policy issues. Let me focus today at the outset on the issue that many of my Republican colleagues have raised with me. Um, as we've discussed, the OMB director has to be able to work with members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. This is true with cabinet officials generally, but specifically uh, with OMB because you have so many interactions with them, both on the budget and on the oversight responsibilities. And typically the OMB director is, uh, is, is not a, uh, a partisan uh, in particular uh, because you have to have these kinds of relationships. Um, I believe that the tone, the content and the aggressive partisanship of some of your public statements have added to the troubling trend of more incivility and division in our public life. Um, and in your case, I'm concerned that your personal attacks about specific senators will make it more difficult for you to work with them. Just to mention a few of the thousands of negative public statements, you wrote that Susan Collins is, quote, the worst, that Ted, Tom Cotton is a fraud, that vampires have more heart than Ted Cruz, uh, you called Leader McConnell, Moscow Mitch, and Voldemort, um, and on and on. I, I wonder specifically, how do you plan to mend fences and build relationships with members of Congress you have attacked through your public statements? Senator, uh, I very much appreciate that question. I recognize the concern. I deeply regret and apologize for my language and some of my past language. Um, I recognize that this role is a bipartisan role, and I know I have to earn the trust of senators across the board. Uh, I will work uh, very aggressively to, to uh, meet that concern. Um, I know the last four years or the last few years have been pretty polarizing, uh, and I hope uh, that we can work um, to address the country's challenges in a bipartisan and nonpartisan manner. Uh, I appreciate that it's upon me to prove that to this committee and uh, to members, and I will work as hard to address the concerns of Republican senators as Democratic senators and will be accountable. I want the OMB to be accountable to Congress and uh, work effectively with you. There are media reports that during November of 2020, after the election, so late last year, more than a thousand tweets were deleted from your account. Um, some of these public statements have been tweets. Are these media reports that you deleted more than a thousand tweets in November in advance of your nomination accurate? And if so, why did you delete them? Senator, I appreciate people's concerns about my tweets and I've regretted them and I deleted tweets because I regretted my tone and I've deleted tweets over many months. I, so, but for those concerned about my, my rhetoric and my language, you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry and I'm sorry for any hurt that they've caused. So, so you did delete the tweets. Uh, did you delete them because you uh, believe you might be nominated for this job or another job? I deleted tweets over many months because I regretted the tone of my tweets. Okay, but specifically after the election, you deleted a thousand tweets according to media reports. Uh, I, I, I take it from what you're saying today, that's accurate? Is that, is that true? I, I don't actually know, but I, I, I can completely conceded the point. Okay, and uh, I guess that the, the question is, um, you know, is that the right thing to do to uh, go back and try to cover uh, what you had said, given that uh, you might be in a different position, which would be a, a nomination for uh, a cabinet level job. Um, with the removal of more than a thousand tweets, there are still a lot of harsh partisan tweets on your account, I found, uh, through my staff, there are still nine pages of tweets about Senator Ted Cruz, for example. Um, how did you choose which tweets you wanted to delete and which ones you wanted to keep on your account? As Senator, I, I mean, I just thought of some of my language and deleted my tweets, but I would also just say again that to the extent people are hurt by my language, I deeply apologize.